CCTV, the CCTV readings, and hi Taurus. Let's see what messages will come up for you. What do we have for Taurus, please? In case this reading resonates, there will be a link in the description box to be extended to find out how is your person thinking, feeling about you, their next moves, outcome of ice, love notes, guidance from spirit, and your future love. So do check it out. It will be linked below. As well as bonus messages, something that I might have not picked up on in this read. All right, a lot of you, I feel like, are not happy with what has been going on in your life. There is a sense of dissatisfaction that I am seeing in your energy, okay? But with the success energy, it's almost like something is mysteriously working for you. But you don't have an idea about it yet, okay? So we will see what that is in a bit okay towards the end of the reading i'm going to read for you what that is saying what do we have for taurus please what is the overall energy for taurus what is the overall energy for taurus <laughs> king of cups in the reverse and the knight of wands okay i feel like a lot of you are emotionally closing off and yeah, with the death energy, it's like having to let go of a situation that you really, really believed in, Taurus. But I feel like now you're letting go. Okay, you're emotionally closing off. Um, and a lot of you are now, I feel like, trying to focus on your passions, things that actually bring you joy and happiness. So it's almost like turning your emotions off and thinking more from logic or it's it's like you're going towards what you feel driven to do, okay? Yeah, it's because some of you have been... It's almost like this energy, you know, Taurus, when you get tired of being sad and when you get tired of being stuck somewhere and then you decide that I'm never going to feel this way again. That is what your energy is like. It's like, I'm never going to feel this way again. I'm never going to... Let this person treat me the way that they did. Let's see. I feel like whatever happened in the past made you strong in some way, Taurus. It, it made you learn a lesson. It brought you closer to yourself, whatever this was. Some of you were dealing with a person who was already married, maybe. But it almost looks like there was a relationship or a situation that you were pursuing. Things were going good until there was a break. Okay. And whatever this is that happened in the past, this also really tested your patience. However, this is also leaving you stronger than before. With the King of Swords, I see you more logical with your decision making now. Um, and I also see that you're cutting somebody out. So it's six of cups and the nine of wands wanted to come out. There may even be a confession coming in from somebody, Taurus, with the page of swords energy at the bottom of the deck. Look at this. You have page of swords and the queen of swords with the judgment. 
So there is a there is a decision being made and that decision is coming from a person who possibly cut you off or betrayed you in some way. There was heartbreak involved in the situation, okay? This is somebody who stalks you. This is somebody who's keeping tabs on you in some way. And I really feel like this person may, maybe they will confess something. Maybe they will say something. Okay. Ace of Swords energy. However, you your energy towards it is the Nine of Wands. It's like, wait a second. Where is all of this coming from? Okay. That is what your energy is like towards this. Tell me about the person, whoever this is. Nine of Swords. They're rushing in. I feel like this person is feeling like you're not going to budge. You're not going to be saying anything. So it's like they're feeling rushed to communicate with you. Okay. Let's see what's in your hopes and fears. I feel like um, Taurus you're silently working on yourself and this is somebody you're avoiding or, and for some of you you have completely blocked this person out of your life it does look like uh, Taurus you're you're wanting to be left alone right now you're wanting to be left alone working on your money your goals your business and a lot of you are solely focused on that at this time and your stability. What brings you them coins, okay? It's almost like somebody having a conscious plan that this is something that I want to work towards and I'm not going to stray away from it. And if this person really wants something or they really want to communicate about something, they better have something legit to say otherwise i'm not interested that is what your energy is like you have seven of wands and the queen of cups there is a lot of resistance here between you and this person whoever this is but you have queen of cups and then we have the king of cups I feel like a lot of you are closed off or you're like being very defensive right now and I don't know what to say but whoever this person is who's connecting with you they're feeling some type of a way look at that hangman to the knight of cups whoever you're dealing with this is a very weird message and the message is that there is somebody who's like, it's almost like you're ignoring them and they're even feeling more inclined towards you because you're ignoring them. Who, who is this person? And it's almost like this person's also recognizing that they're losing you. That's why there is a sense of, you know, let me just rush in and say what I got to say before it's too late kind of an energy. What is the overall outcome for Taurus? What is the overall outcome for Taurus, please? <laughs> nice. Your advice? Wheel of Fortune. Your overall outcome is the Ten of Cups, King of Wands, and the Fool. You're headed towards a new direction. This is something new, but this is also something new that you probably have to take that leap of faith towards. This is something new. This is something that's going to make you very happy. Somebody's boldly taking action towards you, and they actually look forward to have a relationship with you. I also feel like some of you will be meeting up with a family member pretty soon. That's just a side message. But for a lot of you, there is somebody who's coming in your life and this person wants a new beginning with you. Your advice from the reading is the Wheel of Fortune. So for a lot of you, what's important at this time is that you 
go with the flow of things you do what is for you to do and leave the rest on the divine because i feel like that your job here is to not think things through or your job here is to not try to fix things or try to make it happen because the more you're you know surrendering the more you're getting out of your own head because oftentimes when we're in our head about things we make it worse so your job here is to not make it worse than it needs to be and empress energy growth expansion working on yourself wheel of fortune signifies a big change that is coming ahead so like I said, this is something you don't see coming because, you know, at the beginning, your happiness card came in the reverse and then the success card is right next to it. Give me one more. This is a new beginning. I'm shocked to see the two of cups. This is a new beginning. And this is also seeming like a very strong connection. Now, for some of you, it could be with a past person or and for some of you, it's a completely new person. I don't know about that. But there is um, lots of communication coming in and changes happening in your love situation, Taurus. The signs in this reading are Virgo. There are actually a lot of signs. But I see Virgo, I see Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Scorpio. Cancer, Pisces. Taurus, I will link your extended underneath the video if you want more details about the person you're connecting with. How are they thinking, feeling about you? Your next moves, outcome advice, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. So do check it out. It will be linked underneath the video for you. We have keys on a ring. Many options. Decision. Unconventional. String along. Addiction. Codependent. Obsession. Possession. There was something that something toxic that happened in the pause that a lot of you are trying to let go of. Soulmate. Cassette. And passion. Just make sure that you're not repeating the same cycle as before, Taurus. Try to come out of um, your outdated beliefs that are surrounding your relationships, okay? You have soulmate and passion energy, which means you're, you are manifesting love. Give me one more. Yeah, I like you. Somebody's going to be flirting with you. We have talking energy. There's lots of communication and changes. Butterfly, there's a sense of evolution here. Growth, expansion, okay? Let's read for you what is the saying. Satisfaction, contentment, and fulfillment are at hand. Success is waiting to expand in your life. Be ready to accept and embrace this success for it might occur rapidly. All is possible. The gates of triumph are waiting to open for you. Being in a state of gratitude for all these small successes in your life will give birth to larger ones. Your satisfaction will come in many forms and from many areas of your life. Celebrate it and celebrate it all and breathe it all in, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant. This is an excellent time to make commitments, sign contracts and make deals and good fortune will come so that's it taurus those were the messages that came up for you i hope that you were open to receive these messages and i hope that you got something out of the reading your extended will be linked underneath the video if you want more details about the person you're connecting with and what's going to happen next between you two take care and bye bye, bye.